What's going on guys? If you're a Final Cut Pro X editor like me and you've seen the current music videos and you've seen that sick little animation drawing that they do, you always wanted to know how to do it. And in Final Cut, it was difficult. There's tutorials online showing you, you can bring it into Photoshop, take it out of Photoshop and there's all these different steps. I have found a plugin that does everything inside of Final Cut Pro X and it's by Pixel Film Studios and it's called Brush. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is my first tutorial on my new channel. My main channel is at I am dr3w i will be doing tutorials i will have all of my video work on this new channel so consider subscribing hit that thumbs up if this video helps you without further ado let's jump into final cut and let me show you how to do it this is a project i'm working on right now for ed bassmaster right here is the brush effect and you can see on the dog uh frame by frame i just kind of scribbled the x's and the teeth on it this is what it looks like in real time this is done entirely in Final Cut Pro, all thanks to Pixel Film Studios, the Final Cut Pro X brush. It goes for $29.95, but it's well worth it if you're a Final Cut editor and you don't have After Effects and you don't pay for the Creative Cloud every month. I actually found a coupon code. Uh, if you type in today, it'll give you the 25% off. It ends up being around 22 bucks, something like that, and it's so worth it. It's in your Generators tab, not your Titles tab. They always confuse me. All right, so they give you three options. You got the Final cut pro x brush 4k you got the final cut pro x brush 720 and 1080 all depending on what your timeline is if you're editing in a 4k timeline you might want to use the 4k brush i however shoot in 4k downscale to 1080 and then i use the 1080 brush i have no problem with rendering or anything like that when i have it so all you want to do is take it and simply find the clip that you want to use the effect on and drop it over so we'll find the beginning i already have this bladed out where i have this ken burns effect where it zooms and then we'll just cut it off right where the clip ends over here in your inspector window you have the controls you have your brush sizes and you have a color tab i'm at the first frame of the clip so say you just want to do the old x's draw teeth on them now just for the sake of the video i'm gonna do this pretty quick and then you just click your right arrow key on your keyboard to go to the next frame and you're basically gonna do this all the way through until the clip is over and i'll speed this up so now we have finished each frame drawing an animation. You can get as creative as you want with this. You can pick different colors. In real time, this is what that'll look like. It's super dope. The good thing about this is once your edit is finished, you can go back, drop this brush tool as basically an adjustment layer on top of your clip and do this in your in its own session. So you can take care of all your chopping and cutting and then drop this over your footage once the project is completed as far as cutting goes. Once you have your brush laid in and you like the way it looks, do not forget this step because I made this mistake the first time I did it. And they made it very clear in the tutorial, I just forgot. You go back to your inspector window over here. Make sure you hit save canvas while it's highlighted in yellow. So save canvas, and then you'll get this little pop-up that says canvas saved, continue, you're good to go. If you X out of this and you do not save your canvas, when you come back, you'll still have your adjustment layer and then you'll play it back and none of the animations will be there and you'll be pissed and it sucks. And I had to redo all my animations before because of it. With that being said, this is an awesome plugin by Pixel Film Studios. It's an amazing solution to a question that Final Cut Pro X users wanted answered for a while now. I do a lot of music videos. This is super, super helpful for me. If this video helps you guys, please hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'm gonna be doing more of these. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. So I will see you on the next one.